Hello, this is Double O Debbie, and this is episode one of a brand new Minecraft series on Sky Factory 3. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a, of course, a Skyblock mod pack. You can see by Bacon Donut. Uh, it's pretty cool, so I thought I'd do a series on it. Uh, we have a lot of stuff in our inventory right now. Uh, so donut and some bacon. Bacon, donut. Hmm. Why did they give us bacon and a donut? That's because um, the mod pack author is bacon donut. <laughs> uh, yeah. The, so this is a guidebook. Uh, it's not really a quest book, but gives you some ideas about, you know, in the early game, what steps, uh, what things you can do to get, uh, to get some progress done. And, um, pretty much you don't have to do them in, in any order, or you don't get a reward for completing them, other than knowing that, um, you're closer to becoming <clears throat> all powerful, <laughs> all powerful evil overlord. <clears throat> not not evil, no, just an overlord. So yeah, there's tons of things uh, in here to do, and and there's probably even more than just what is listed here. <laughs> um, the whole idea is that uh, this will give you know make you go and look through the different mods and learn about the mods themselves instead of just having uh, a quest book do that for you. Uh, so it's pretty cool. I don't know what this is, uh, but we got a torch, um, an open computer's manual, uh, a digital guide for environmental tech, and a, a tin nugget. Okay, and one torch. <laughs> I don't know what the builder's one is. Uh, so, yeah. Um, Sky Factory is a little bit different than um, the Infinity Evolved Skyblock uh, because you at least get a, a 3x3 of dirt. And this, oh my goodness, I don't have any sound. Uh, okay, one second. Let me uh, pause the recording here. Okay, okay, we're back. <laughs> um, I, I believe the sound is working. Uh, so let, let's try it again. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's way too loud now. Um... Let's go to music. We got the music off. Let's also turn let's turn the weather down and let's turn the music up. We like the music, but it's just really loud. And we'll turn that blocks down. Let's see how that works. Let's see if that helps. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, that doesn't help either. Oh my goodness. Okay. So the thing is about um, about Sky Factory Three is that you only start on one piece of dirt. There's only one piece of dirt at the bottom. There's no chest to uh, help get you going. So, <laughs> yeah, there's no bone meal, no flint, uh, you know, to help get you started. So you basically have to know your mod packs and know how to uh, progress to get those things uh, available. There's no lava, no water. So we have to uh, we have to start out and and make those things for ourselves. 
which we can do with X Nihilo. So it's not like we can't do it. It's just that it will take us uh, a little bit longer to get it to get it going. Um, there is no fast leaf decay in this. We get one sapling, so that's good. Oh, and there's a piece of dirt. This is so scary. Okay. <laughs> so we get five wood um, to get us going. Uh, there's Tinker's Construct. Oh, you can't make it into a slab for a uh, slab. So it's going to plop that down there. And turn the rest of these into some slabs so that we can extend our uh, area around here so I can possibly <laughs> stop having a heart attack <laughs> and this will uh, this will get us a little bit of a platform oh man <laughs> this is uh, so nerve-wracking being on just that one little piece of dirt. Whew. It's so scary. Alright, uh, and we can put our torch there. Yay! Uh, so the thing about, uh, oh, we need to, we need to get these leaves uh, cleared away. Hopefully we'll get an extra sapling, maybe. No, <laughs> uh, one sapling out of that whole mess. So um, there is no bone meal, and one of the worst parts of a sky block is, you know, yeah, you start out with that tree, but then you plant it, and you get to stare at a tree for half an hour because you can't do anything. But no, not in this, <laughs> not in this mod pack. You have to um, do what they call twerking. So. You basically stand close to your tree and you push shift over and over. And as you can see, there's little sparklies around our tree now. That means it's trying to bone mill it, basically. And there we go. Tree grow. <laughs> it's it's just supposed to be uh, a fun little a fun little thing. Um and uh there's there's X Nihilo in here, and now that we have a little bit of a platform, we'll s we still want, I still want it to be to be bigger, but we can increase our chance of getting a sapling uh, by by using the crook on there. Oh, see, <laughs> now we can continue. <laughs> That's like the scariest part of uh, starting out is. Will you get a sapling on your first tree? Will you get a sapling on your second tree? Because if you don't, you know, there's really no way around it. You either... Oh, an apple! You either have to um, start over or you have to cheat. <laughs> you have to cheat it in. Go into a land world or something and get yourself another sapling. Oh yeah, look at all those saplings. Oh, we're so awesome. Um, <laughs> it's the crook that's awesome. The crook is awesome. Um, there is one of one of my most favoriteest things in the world to do is to turn on magnet mode. But in this version, this we have um, just enough items, not. Um, any eye. So there's no way to adjust the things. There's uh the oh what is this? The options. <gasps> I never saw that so we could go in and we could turn on uh global there we go. Oh my goodness where is it? Where is it? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. 
Okay, there we go. <gasps> magnet mode! Yes, I love magnet mode. <laughs> I thought this was just enough items and it didn't have that option, but apparently it does. You just have to know where to look. A lot of the times, um, any eye would come up, you know, and you would be in creative mode or something by default, but... Oh yeah, we got some silkworms. That is awesome. And we got some more wood. I know we could do, uh, a lot more things with this wood, but I want a bigger platform. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to, I have to have, I have to have to, I have to have more. More, more, more. I'm a chicken. And there's no chicken stick in this. Well, you don't start off with a chicken stick. I think there is a chicken stick. You just have to make it yourself. Uh, okay. That's a little bit better. Okay. So now, what do we do now? <laughs> we gotta plant more trees. Um, what we'll want to do, I guess, is uh, make a couple of barrels. Um, let's pick a side um, once we get this tree to grow. Woo! <laughs> that took a long time. Oh, look at all the saplings. Oh, yeah. Um, there is... What is it called? Um... There's a vein miner, but it's not vein miner. I don't know what it's called. Um, like, maybe it's ore or something. Anyway, I can find that in controls. Oh, uh, here it is. Ore excavation, yeah. So if you hold down grave, the grave key, which is right above the tab key, um, you can do this. <gasps> Amazing! I love it. So you can basically uh, ore mine the leaves instead of breaking them one by one like I just did. Um, so yeah. I think uh, you have to have something in your hand to Oh, it's so loud I feel like I can't talk over uh, the sound. Okay, so what we want to do is make, we have, um, we're going to need another one. Let's just, let's just do it all. Another thing is, um, while this doesn't have, I get, I think the, uh, the recipe changes like in Infinity Evolved Expert Mode, uh, it, it is pretty hard to get it going. Okay, we're gonna make two of these barrels. Since since you don't start with anything and you have no bone meal to speed things up, you have to twerk. <laughs> it's just, you know, things. Um, all right, also, one thing I wanna make to get this out of my inventory is an achievement stand, just because it looks cool. <laughs> I really love this thing. Okay, so we're going to pick this side. Um, we're going to put our book right here. Boink! And then we're going to place uh, these right there. ta -da! So now what we can do is take all these extra saplings we got. We're going to plant one down first so we don't forget. You just put that stuff in the barrel to get more dirt. And that's awesome. Uh, so uh, now, let's see. We we have enough. Let's make another crook because this one's almost dead. Boink. Um, we we'll want to make a chest too. So let's go ahead and see if we can get a, a chest. Oh look, our dirt's already ready, but we're not. Come on, tree, grow, grow. Grow, grow, grow. It stopped working. 
it stopped working come on there we go okay let's get this new one out and oh that is just so amazingly awesome <laughs> okay let's get us a little chest to get uh, some of this stuff out of my inventory I feel a little bit uncomfortable <laughs> with you know everything being in my inventory um, we can also we we'll also want to make at least a wooden axe because you can vein mine these trees too <coughs> here we go excuse me my throat's a little bit dry it wasn't when I started it's just you know talking just really makes your throat dry Oh look, we got that back. I wasn't expecting that. So let's just um, throw all these doodads in there. And let's put some extra saplings in there, yeah. And uh, some of those silkworms. Because we're going to use these silkworms, um, but just not this second. There we go. We got two extra bits of dirt. <laughs> okay, so what I like to do with this is uh, I like to have the trees at least uh, five blocks apart. So that's three, four, <laughs> and five. So oh yeah, okay. There's one. <laughs> and do, 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 do. and we can't really we can't really place that while it's next to a half slab. There we go. Awesome, awesome. Now we can uh, get a couple of extra trees. That way they can be passively growing. <laughs> uh, we can make some more slabs now to to sort of fill those spots in. That's basically the first uh, the first bit. That way we can sort of we can use this middle one to when it grows to put some of these silkworms on there. And actually, we don't need that many. We can put some of those up. That way we can get uh, some. Uh, some sieves going. Um, yeah. <laughs> also, when you sneak, you're uh, when you're sneaking around, you're actually bone milling your plants. So I do that a lot. I like uh, be sneaking around and accidentally make the trees grow, which you know it's pretty cool. There we go. Let's sort of fill this out and then we'll get around the base of those other trees pretty quick. We'll make this guy grow. Come on, grow, 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 grow. There we go. And then we'll uh, infest it. Awesome. <laughs> now we have, uh, we can also have more wood coming in with these guys instead of not being able to do anything. Also, I, I did play this a little bit. I noticed, look, that infestation is um, going quite rapidly. So that that was kind of cool. Uh-oh. That was kind of cool that uh, it seems like they sped up the infestation process. So you don't have to wait near as long as before for that to uh, do its thing. And we're out. Okay, let's uh, let's get this guy to grow. So we still gotta wait a little bit for that one. Awesome. Um, I think you have to, let's do this. Actually, can we combine these? Oh yeah, okay. I was afraid it wouldn't get the whole thing. Awesome. And we have to have something in our hand, I think, for this to work. 
Let's try it without her hand, just to see. Okay, it does not work with an empty hand, so you have to have something in your hand to do the vein mining stuff. There we go. And look, <laughs> I chopped down one tree and that thing is almost completely done. That is awesome. This is amazing. Okay. So, uh, we're going to need another crook. Let's make that first. Otherwise, I'm about to use all of this wood to make some more. Awesome, look at all of that. Uh, that's the wrong one. Look at all that string. And that's plenty of string to get us one uh, doohickey. <laughs> yeah, I love those technical terms. The doohickeys and the thingamabobs. Um, Alright, let's get this tree down. And we'll go ahead and, since we have the, oh, I, I was pushing the wrong button. I was pushing shift because in my Farming Valley world, that's, uh, that's the key for Vein Miner. It's actually Vein Miner. Uh, but this is, uh, this is a different, <laughs> a different mod. It's not actually Vein Miner. Because uh, in Vein Miner, you can't really... Um, you know, like mine cobblestone or stone with it. Uh, in this, you can. <laughs> so you definitely don't want that bound to your shift key because if you, you, in the sky block, you're going to be shifting a lot. And if you shift and go to mine one of these blocks, it's going to harvest the whole floor out from under you and you'll fall to your death. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't I didn't rebind that key uh, and that's why. So I left it at, at the grave. Oh that, wow, that spread fast. Okay, um, this one isn't ready yet. We're not ready for you to grow. Okay, we just need to get this little see this is why I like having multiple trees and the one thing that I like the most about um, skyblocks is uh, you it makes for like more efficient mob mob farms because I love making mob farms um, and the skyblock is like the perfect situation because you don't have to go and light everything up because you generally have everything lit up in the skyblock, let's see, that's at least three. And that's three, all oh, good. We got it, we got it. All right, let's let's uh, let's get this one done. Yeah, you get like a, this pristine environment where your mob traps just work. Uh, and why are you, yeah. Your mob traps just work and they work uh, great. <laughs> And I'm pushing shift key again with that. I'm not thinking. There we go. And that should be uh, plenty of string for now. Let's get this guy. Oh yeah. Look at that. Four more. Four more silkworms. It's almost like they want to make sure you have a way to get string. Okay, we got a few extra saplings. Uh, let's go ahead and make some more dirt. And eat an apple. Uh, because uh, one of the things about the ore excavation is that it, it depletes your uh, saturation and your hunger when you use it. So you it makes you eat more food, which I think is cool. So <laughs> let's see. Let's look in the book and see if we've completed anything so far. Uh, but that's just your basic start. Okay, we, we definitely did this one. You use a crook on leaves to get saplings and a silkworm. And we did the twerking. That's how you find out about the twerking. But you really don't know what twerk is. I, I think I, I watched um, some of Bacon Donuts uh, series in, I don't know, one of his original Sky Factory 
mod packs. Uh, so I kind of knew what the twerking was, but I guess if you haven't seen that, you have no idea what twerking is. <laughs> and we did make dirt by composting. Check. We infested leaves with a silkworm. We got the string. We haven't crafted a sieve. Um, yeah, we haven't gotten to this part yet. Uh, this is all after the sieve. Craft a crook and a crucible. We've done the... Oh, craft and cook a crucible. Okay, so the next part is going to be getting us into a cobble generator. Um, so I don't think we're going to be able to get to a cobble generator just yet. So probably what I'm going to do is end the episode here. We got a good start. We got, um, <laughs> we got our platform extended. We got some extra dirt, which is awesome. And next episode we'll try to, we'll try to get more going in towards the cobble generator. So yeah, if you if you like this series and you want to see more, uh, just leave a comment. Let me know what you what you think about it. Uh, maybe if you want to see me build a certain thing in this mod pack, that would be uh, just you know, let me know. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.